So for my avid followers, um, you may know, notice some changes here. Um, the AMS light is now hooked up to the A1 Mini, and there's something missing. I don't know what it is. Yeah. So, I, I've said previously that, you know, last week or so, I, I've, over time I've had a few issues with the A1 that I had. Um, it just... I, I it, it was a it, it's a great printer and I have nothing against it and I would still definitely recommend it to uh, people just getting started in 3D printing because of the ease of use um, and as a testament to that a um, the one of the other uh, maintenance supervisors up where I work I've been making him some things I just did a video on some props that I'm making him. Uh, I just happened to mention to him, hey, if you ever want to, you know, try 3D printing or whatever, I've got printers that I could sell you, you know, inexpensively and, and help you get a start. And he literally texted me back, I'll take it. And so, um, some of y'all are going to probably hate for this, but, uh, I, I, as ease of use, uh, you know, because I know him and he is, you know, one of the supervisors on one of the shifts up at where I work, I kind of wanted to give him kind of the best start. So I sold him my A1 um, without the AMS. See, the AMS light didn't come with the A1. I didn't get the A1 combo. I got the A1 mini combo that came with the AMS light. But I was using the AMS light on the A1, but now the AMS light is on the A1 Mini. A AMS, AMS, AMS light, AMS light. Just needed to get that in there. Um, but so uh, I sold it to him, gave him a bunch of pointers, um, how to get started. Uh, and he has gone dark since he picked it up last night from work <laughs> and uh so i am assuming that uh he is now got the fever and he is printing like a madman so i told him about the you know bamboo lab wiki and bamboo studio and the app and how to do everything and calibrate it when you first set it up and blah 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 and i didn't give him my uh, slice works plate i gave him the stock plate that came with it because i can use that for this uh, P1S, or maybe if a uh, maybe if an X1 Carbon ends up here, or something like that. But uh, and some may find it weird that I kept my Ender 3 V3 KE over my A1, but that's because um, and and I, like I said, this is only personal experience. I've had less issues out of my Ender 3 V3 KE than I did with my A1. That's just my personal experience. It has nothing to do with everybody else's. I know that somebody's gonna be like, my A1 has outprinted everything and it, it's the best thing I have ever gotten. It's literally God's 3D printer. But it, I'm just saying, my personal experience. And I'm sure it's me and I screwed it all up and I angered the bamboo gods and stuff and I did not make the appropriate amount of sacrifices and everything like and so but it's a great printer the bamboo lab a1 is a great printer I still recommend it for anybody getting started in uh, in 3d printing um, but just me you know it wasn't my go-to printer it just wasn't uh, if I wanted to print something and I had all my printers available, it would more than likely, if it was small, it would go to the A1 Mini. If I needed it quick, uh, it would go to the P1S or the K1 Max. Or if I was printing, like I said, in engineering filaments, it would go to the Q1 Pro because the chamber heater and all that. Um, and if it was large, it would go to the uh, Neptune 4 Max or the Soval SV08. I just haven't been using it because I've got something coming for that. 
Um, so it's been taking a break um, and um, it's a new uh, uh, a new hot end upgrade from Micro Swiss. Um, I can't, when I get it, I'm gonna install it, but I can't really show anything yet. Uh, they asked me not to show anything. Uh, I can install it and use it, I just can't, they don't want me to show it. So until they get it all officially released and all that kind of stuff. And there's gonna be a couple other content creators that's gonna have one coming to them as well. Um, they're, they're sending me a beta unit um, to test so it's not the final 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 polished product so they don't want the beta version shown they want to uh, have the they want me to show the full release version when that comes out and all that so anyway just uh, so now I don't know what I'm gonna put there I've kind of been getting more I've kind of been getting away from bed slingers and going more to the core xy because there are advantages to core xy over bed bed slingers um they're faster print consistency is better um and things like that um so the only bed slingers i have now is my neptune 4 max and the ender 3 v3 ke um and i really need to fire it up i haven't used it in a long time um, or it, it'll be another hand-me-down to maybe my youngest son if he wants to start 3D printing too. So, uh, because th that, that is a good solid printer too. I have not had a single, not one, not any issue with the Ender 3 V3KE. Nothing. Took it out of the box, did its calibration one time, auto Z offset, everything, and it's been perfect. So, uh, anyway. So I don't know if I, I really want an X1 Carbon. I don't know why, just because. Um, I've got a P1S, but um, I really want an X1 Carbon, or I might do a K1C there. Um, I don't need another K1 Max, because uh, I've got big printing covered. Uh, might do a K1C there, might uh, wait and do a, um, Maybe do a K2 Plus there. I don't know. But uh, it's going to be another Core XY that's going to go in that spot. So, anyway, just uh, thought I would uh, give that little information there. And uh, so my multicolored printing uh, with the AMS lights now going to be on my A1 Mini. I'm not even using the AMS on my P1S anymore. I just kind of got tired of fussing with the AMS. Uh, it's actually right there so uh and uh, you know just oh pull i might what i might be doing on that ams is there is a new basic uh upgrade for the ams called a python system it's basically a rebuild of the ams altogether. all you're using is the uh basically some of the internal components out of the ams and then you're you're rebuilding the whole ams unit um, to take larger spools and it uses big gear wheels and stuff like that to get better uh, consistency and stuff and uh, you can uh, so I might be doing that you can actually get a complete kit from Voxel for the Python with all the printed parts and everything for like 60 something dollars I mean it's so cheap and all you got to do is gut the the motors and the boards and stuff out of the old AMS and uh and then uh rebuild on the python so i might be doing that but anyway thank you bye